What's up guys, it's The Real Pain coming to you with another Naruto review? What? What? Didn't I say I don't like Naruto? Yes, I did say that. And it kind of feels like I'm back paddling, but I'm not. Let me, let me tell you. When I did the news video, I was kind of ragging on Naruto. After that, I still decided I wanted to get the free, you know, Sakura, Sasuke and Naruto. And then this guy came along, Kakashi. Because he was standing around at a store, at one of the uh, local comic book video game stores in town. And I had him there for a while, and they actually lowered the price for like 10% uh, or 20%. And I was like, you know what? Uh, let's get him. I mean, Kakashi's cool. He's nice. He's got lightning and stuff and the weird eye, but... Regardless, this is an SH figure arts, this is Kakashi, I've said that already, and this is from Naruto. And this is also a Tamashi web exclusive, I think. That's whenever they have the uh, Bandai collector shop thingy over there. I think that means it's a web exclusive, from what I can tell. But uh, yeah, we have the character, we have the Japanese writing, and some pink, reddish pink. Hmm, it looks very pink under the camera, but it looks definitely like red in real life. I mean, with with my own two eyes. But yeah, that's enough about the box already. Let's get into this. What? For whatever reason, I'm like, I want to go. Even though that's not very ninja-like. What is this, Bruce Lee? No, this is Kakashi. Now, let's see how tall this guy is. He definitely is a lot taller. Already seems a lot taller than uh, Naruto, Naruto and Sasuke, so I'm guessing he's in scale. Stand up straight, sir. Sir! 16 centimeters, almost. A little over 16 centimeters to the top of his head, which means he's about six and a half inches. Really up, up there to his hair. And then, speaking of hair, this connects. Oh my god, now we can see the brain part, even though there's no. They didn't go that in into detail. Thank God. But yeah, overall look of the character. Let me let me put his hair back on. He has very bluish hair, and I don't really remember that. Now here's the thing with the colors. I only watch the I only read the manga actually. I don't really watch the show because I think the colors are effing ugly. But overall, it looks nice. There's no shading going on. You got the nice metallic in the bandana of the Hidden Leaf Village, also known as Konoha. Thank you very much. I know things. And still got some more logos in the back on shoulders. You got the tactical vest. And yeah. Once more, a fairly simple design, but what is there is done nicely. Here's the thing. Does his torso seem a little bit long? I don't know, I just keep looking at it. And I feel like his torso is too long. I don't know, overall I think he looks a little bit disproportionate. Maybe that's just me, but you know, just just tell me. Just give this a look and don't tell, tell me like uh, if his torso is weird or not. I, I just, I don't know. I see him, there's a lot of weird things. Also, I mean the calf itself also seems, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What is humanity even? I've gathered too many figures around me, I don't even know what a human is supposed to look like. But anyway, enough about the comedy act. Let's have a look at the articulation, because I want to know. First of all, the head rotates around, you have all the room in the world. And then disconnects, so yeah, it's the classic SH figure arts double ball joints. With the hinge on it, so you can move that around, you can move that side side, and it... Oh. The ball disconnect, that is my favorite part. The ball disconnected in the head. Well, that sucks. So you know what? This is gonna be a headless review for now. I just gonna, I don't have the tools to remove this. This. Why does this happen? This, I hate this so much. Like, really. So this ball is gonna keep disconnecting and I'm gonna keep having a problem with the head on there. So anyway, the head was moving around, you have a little bit of back and forth motion in the neck, well actually a lot, and also goes out to the side. So a lot of neck articulation going on. At the shoulders, we have also the, the double ball strategy with, I think there's a floaty piece in there. Yeah, 
because that one moves around in there. So you can bring that forward quite a lot. I'm actually impressed by that. And you have the floaty piece to hide it, which doesn't really do the best job because there's still gaps. Still, for that amount of range, you can bring that forward. It's pretty damn impressive. So that also rotates around, of course, goes up, and of course goes down. And like I said, you can rotate it around. Then you have a bicep swivel over here. Then we have the double hinged elbow joints, classic stuff. There's no elbow pad though, so these look pretty horrible considering he has a more, you know, he basically wears a jacket, so it's all a lot more wider and that's gonna be a problem with the joints if you're not if you're not doing any any pads over there, any elbow pads. You have the same ball joint, cut ball joint in the fist, so it goes around and back and forth. Then we go to the torso. It has actually, once again, a ton of range. I'm very impressed by the articulation so far. That goes back and forth, and it wiggles around, goes side to side a little bit. Actually, once again, a lot. I keep saying a little bit, and then I'm like pushing it, and I'm like, well, I guess that's more than a little. Then we have this weird piece over here, and I don't really know what to think about it. On one hand, I mean, it's it's cool. It's just, it just kind of sticks out. Although, overall, I think the idea is great to kind of hide, hide the articulation going down there, so you can stretch out the torso and that's that might be one of the reasons why I think the torso looks too long too long because of this part just kind of hiding it over there because I'm mean, you know you're used to having SH figure arts like that I don't know. anyhow this moves around back and forth hold on real quick once again a lot I'm not gonna say a little but a lot goes forward all the way and you always have this just rotating around and it is completely floaty it is not being held on by anything. You can move it around. The only thing that keeps it in place is the back pocket over here, the back pouch. And that's cool. It's a very good design choice actually to have the pouch kind of holding it on. But otherwise, I don't think it's connected anywhere. No, you can you can move that around all you want. Then we have legs. They go up. Holy moly. They go up all the way. Like all the way. Ninja action! And they go back, and they go out to the side. Hmm, blocked. Yeah, out to the side, not so great. Then we have the knees. You have actually a knee pad over there. Still looks kind of disconnected, and it goes off. Well then, that's just some packs. I can get that back on there. Much easier than the head. Now, the knee joint is actually pretty good. I like how they did that, because it tucks under there. It, it ends down here, but it tucks under the uh, the, the phi. So when you rotate it out, it still looks good and it will look good and until to a certain point, until you get to like, uh, you know, where you basically go all the way out, then you'll have some gaps. But only then, before it still looks good. Now at the fist, you can swivel around. Has an ankle, well, has a very nice ankle rock actually. Go that the side. Only inside actually. Just, uh -huh. it's one of these things. So I guess it's not even an anchor rocker, is it? Probably just a peg in there. And well, you have a toe hinge, and it's your articulation. Now let me reassemble this monster. Oh boy, we got quite a few of accessories. So, starting off with the different faces. Of course, you got the one where he has his bandana up, with two faces, one with the eye closed, and the other one with the eye open. Of course, with the Sharingan showing very nice detail work on the eyebrows. Just kind of want to bring that to your attention, please. Then we got two kunais, but yeah, you got the kunais, nice metallic. I already said that, but I say it again because the nice metallic. There, three times the charm. Then you got the um, I don't remember what it's called again. We have. His little book of naughty secrets. You know, the romantic manga comedy. It's not really a manga because there's nothing in it. But, uh, yeah. You all know what this is about. So he has also a hand to hold it. Let me actually try it out real quick. If that's what I think it is. No, I guess it's not what I think it is. Because this is not the holding hand. 
But I guess it's a posing hand. We got posing hands for all your different ninja 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 techniques. Open hand. And let me see if that's this probably the one. Is that the one to put the book in? It doesn't matter what way I turn it now. Yeah, that will that will work. Let's see if I can find another one, maybe. So you got the fist hand. Okay, I'm all kind of all all over the place with the hands. I'm sorry, guys, but I just I just kind of dumped everything in here instead of just just waiting, just being like, oh, this and this and that. I just wanted to take it out of the packaging. Also, they slipped very badly over here, as you can tell. They just made the inside. They just made the inside of the hands blue. Which uh, also goes for this one. And my lighting is messing around again. Then we have another open hand kind of posing and we have this more posing hand. It seems like to me that this really is for the book, but how am I doing it wrong? Am I stupid? I can't really say. I can't really see how I would probably do that. I mean, it's in there now, but well, I guess it's in there. It's not super tight, though. And that brings me to the final thoughts. What do I think about Kakashi? Well, like I said, there's a lot of interesting sculpt stuff. The articulation is amazing. Some of the best I've seen in a long time. And there's some interesting things going on with, like, this floaty stuff. This floaty part over here. I say interesting because I don't 100% agree with it, but it depends on how you look at it. It's new. It's something else. And coming from a web ex web exclusive, honestly, the web exclusives back in the day have not been the greatest. And I'm actually impressed by how much new there is in this figure. Now, other than that, I think the torso is a little long. I think the neck might be a little long, but that's also because I can't really rearrange the head because the ball joint is broken and I had to fix it. And now the uh, the movement is severely limited. Other than that, I do recommend this one because, like I said. It has a lot of unique unique sculpting and cool stuff going for it, so there you go. If you want your Kakashi, you can get it now on the interwebs, Big Bad Toy Store or, I don't know, the Mushy Web Store, whatever. Anyhow, as usual guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like and maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Kakashi wants.